we'll discuss a new topic called direction cosines and direction ratios now let us take the coordinate axis like this you know that this is x axis this is y axis this is z axis of course this is the origin now if you take any straight line let us take a straight line is like this if a straight line is making some angle alpha with x axis beta with y axis gamma with z axis let us repeat let a line l equal to 0 makes alpha with x axis beta with y axis gamma with z axis then cosine of these angles are called direction cosines so this line is denoted by let a line l is equal to 0 makes angles alpha beta gamma with coordinate axis with coordinate axis then cosine of these angles means cos alpha cos beta cos gamma are called direction cosines now generally direction cosines are denoted by l comma m comma n small letters of alphabet so they are denoted by they are denoted by l comma m comma n implies l is equal to cos alpha m is equal to cos beta n is equal to cos gamma now again i will show the diagram if a line makes an angle alpha with x axis if you extend the x axis like this now you observe that when this is alpha this is called 180 minus alpha so if alpha is the angle the other angle is 180 minus alpha so the other angles are given by 180 minus alpha 180 minus beta 180 minus gamma implies cosine of these angles 180 minus alpha cos 180 minus beta cos 180 minus gamma this is minus cos alpha minus cos beta minus cos gamma they are minus l minus m minus n this concludes that if l comma m comma n are the direction cosines of a line then minus l minus m minus n are also becoming the direction cosines of the same line so are also direction cosines direction cosines of same line now let us see one point let us take a point p x comma y comma z in 3d space let us drop perpendicular onto x axis this is called let us say n this will become x comma 0 comma 0 now assume that this is going to be the distance r r is given by root of x square plus y square plus z square since i am taking along x axis the angle is given by alpha so cos alpha is equal to you can see this is horizontal distance o n divided by o p so o n divided by o p refers to x by square root of x square plus y square plus z square in the same fashion if you drop point p onto the y axis it will become 0 comma y comma 0 so cos beta will become y by square root of x square plus y square plus z square in the same fashion if you drop p point onto z axis then cos gamma will become is equal to z by square root of x square plus y square plus z square now let us take cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to it is x square by x square plus y square plus z square y square by x square plus y square plus z square plus z square by x square plus y square plus z square equal to x square plus y square plus z square divided by x square plus y square plus z square cancelling is equal to 1 so 
our conclusion is cos squared alpha plus cos squared beta plus cos squared gamma equal to 1. Already we know that cos alpha is L, cos beta is M, cos gamma is N implies L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. Now, if L comma M comma N are the direction cosines of a specific line, then we have a standard result either cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma equal to 1 or L square plus M square plus N square equal to 1. Now, you can see one more formula is there with us that is you know that cos square alpha is nothing but 1 minus sin square alpha. Let us write 1 minus sin square alpha, 1 minus sin squared beta, 1 minus sin squared gamma is equal to 1. So, you can cancel off 1 on both sides sending sines to other side. Therefore, sin squared alpha, sin squared beta plus sin squared gamma is equal to 2. Now, these are the two results based on the line making angles alpha, beta, gamma with coordinate axis.